Now is the interesting part. Now, as I mentioned, it gives you two choices. It lets you either go ahead and store the stable Mesa, which is like the one that comes with the system anyway, basically, or the Mesa Git, which is the more advanced version. So that would give you like Mesa 26, where Mesa stable is 25. Now, you want the 26 because it's got, as it says here, latest drives from Mesa branch, development branch, best performance, but it's a bit flaky. Now, if you rerun the script after you've done this and you don't want the... Uh, I'm going to select one because this is quite a long install. If you select, if you want to get back to the other one, you rerun the script and it will remove the other one, put the other one back in, he says. But remember, these are experimental scripts. Um, it worked on here. But anyway, so this could take a bit of a while because it's got to pull down, build and compile the, the Git, the Mesa thing on here. So it's going to take a bit of a time. So just bear with me. But yeah, so that, as I mentioned in the start, it's an interesting issue, this. It's, I just thought that there was something wrong with my script, but there was nothing wrong with my script. Everything that was wrong was my monitor is, you know, 350 nits, causing and flagging up that it's HDR when it's lying. And then basically the bug with the Intel drivers where you do this and it flips over. And I could never pin it down. And I, I did all sorts of weird stuff because... When you what happens, and I'll show you this when we get into it. If you switch it over to SDR in Steam, it'll do it. 